Taking a live look downtown, America's finest city. Welcome back to the Saquon Casino post game show and inside the Channel 4 studios. Look what we have here. We have the nice little soccer's logo right there and San Diego soccer John Krause joining us. John, I'm, I'm going to start like this. Uh, you know, I'm looking through the notes. You're one half of the Bash uh -uh. brothers. That leads me to believe you're a pretty physical player. I mean, is that the style you like to have? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I, I grew up with four older brothers, so I think just from <laughs> that, I, I've developed the, uh, the physicalness of the game. And me and uh, Scotty, there's actually three Bash brothers that, that they don't talk about. It's me, Scotty Martin, and uh, Daniel Antonio. Okay. So, so, yeah, we, we combine the, uh, the Bash brothers for sure. All right, so you're one-third of the Exa Bash brothers. Exactly. And, I mean, I, I guess as a defender, almost by definition, you have to play physical, right? It's, yeah, and we usually, you know, we always get matched up with the big forwards who, you know, they like to hold the ball and throw elbows and stuff like that. So it's either hit or be hit in that game. So, What's the transition like for you? I know you've played a lot of outdoor soccer. Yeah. And, I mean, people that at home maybe don't understand that there is quite a difference between the indoor game and Extremely the outdoor different. game. The outdoor game, I don't know, it just seems like there's more space, and obviously there's more space. It's so much more technical yeah. uh, indoors. How, how does that suit you? Well, it, it's, it's, a, it's a hard transition. It's always very hard, especially right in the beginning of the season. But the, the main thing is the fitness, really, because you're going from running 95 minutes where you're not sprinting at all times from going indoor where it's, you know, a minute and a half of full sprints and then off. So that's, that's the big transition for me. And then, like you said, also the space. You know, in, in outdoor soccer, you get time to look up, touch the ball, see where you want to go with it. Yeah. In indoor, you got five guys running right at you. You got to hit it off the boards or, or make a play or dribble someone real quick, and it's it's your decision. Your your time is just it's so much faster. You, you know, I was looking at your your pedigree. I mean, you've played for a lot of different teams all over the world. Yeah. You played on the Puerto Rican national team. You've played in Vietnam. Yeah. China. I mean, what what's it like playing in these in these foreign countries? How does the game differ and really what has that taught you about yeah, the game? it's it's actually a really good point it's 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 pretty amazing too because you know every country every part of the world has its own style of play yeah you know you, you look at the latin countries it's a lot more technical and fast you go to asia it's still pretty technical but they try and mix a little physicalness in there and, and a lot of uh, it's a lot more discipline and then here in the states we have a you know a more english style of play yeah. so it's just really fun to go to different parts of the world and see how different they play and kind of you know, you try as a player to kind of take a little bit from each place. I mean, the travel, I'm sure, is pretty fun as well. That's, that's definitely an added bonus. No I mean, right? I mean, there's, there's a lesson to be learned there as well, not Absolutely. just on the, on the pitch. For sure, for sure. Now, you guys don't do too much traveling here, but your next game is against Tijuana, and that's always – that's a physical one for you guys, especially when you play down there. Yeah. I, th um, I mean, I know, I know very well because last year I actually – uh, got stitches right here and and tore my MCL in that in the game against Tijuana. So it's always a physical one against them. Well, I guess it's time for payback. Exactly. John, thank you so much thank for stopping by. I appreciate that. Uh, for the youth at home who want to come out and see the soccer, as I already mentioned, their next game next week on the 9th in TJ. Probably not going to go to that one. I'm just guessing. <laughs> but you can see them at home against the Tacoma Stars on the 17th, and they round out the year 10 days later on the 27th hosting the U.S. Open Cup opening round game, all those games at Del Mar.